Now let's talk about the uh, what, 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 what I'm going to say the lymphatic drainage. Should we talk about the venous drainage or the lymphatic drainage? All right, the venous drainage is very simple. I'm going after lymphatic drainage. I'm going to talk about the venous drainage. Just let me give a quick review of the lymphatic drainage first. So the lymphatic drainage of your duodenum of your duodenum all right so the lymphatic drainage of your duodenum so remember look uh, if i'm to, going to explain it over here it will be really complicated what i'm going to do i'm just going to you know kind of uh kind of branch it uh, to make it easy but i'm going to make a really detailed video on the lymphatic drainage of the, your whole git your whole gastrointestinal system and that will make it uh, much easier to understand but in this video because i have to cover up the whole duodenum part so i have to explain it uh, the main branches so remember your duodenum is actually or the lymph limbs from your duodenum actually drain into your first this guy called pancreatico duodenal nodes duodenal nodes right so this guy pan pancreatic duodenal uh, nodes is going to drain its lymph into the gastro duodenal duodenal nodes and this gastro duodenal is going to drain into your celiac nodes i'm sorry celiac nodes right and this celiac node is going to drain to your intestinal nodes intestinal nodes or you can say intestinal trunk i'm sorry it's actually intestinal trunk and f again the intestinal trunk is going to end up into your cisternal chile sternal chile i i told you sister chile is nothing just a pouch just in a small pouch uh, if you haven't watched my video of it uh, you must go through it and uh, again the system call is going to uh, drain into the thoracic duct i have a really detailed video on thoracic duct you must watch it all right so uh, in the end we'll be going to drain up into the thoracic duct very simple lymphatic drainage of duodenum somebody is asking you be specific it is drained into the pancreatic duodenal nodes if he, this guy is if the teacher is going to ask all right tell me where does the pancreatic duodenal nodes ends up you'll be saying into the gastro duodenal nodes and finally you go down celiac nodes intestinal trunk cistern archali and finally we'll end up into the thoracic duct all right, we're done with the lymphatic drainage. We're done with the arterial supply. Now we're going to talk about the venous drainage and the nerve supply. I have to pick up another paper to explain it. All right, so here we got another paper. And let's talk about uh, the drainage of your venous drainage of your duodenum. All right, very simple, very easy. All right, we talked about the arterial supply. It's similar to the arterial supply. Um, the, the venous is actually going to drain to the superior pancreatic duodenal vein, and that is going to end up in your uh, portal vein. And again, we have got inferior veins, which actually join your, uh, the superior mesenteric vein. All right, let me, let me draw it and uh, line it, so I'll make it easy. So I'll told you, that venous drainage your veins actually drain up into the uh, superior pancreato duodenal veins all right superior pancreato duodenal veins we have got two main drainage duodenal veins draining the upper half and by the lower half by the inferior veins inferior veins remember this one so this superior pancreatinal veins is finally this guy is coming from here and it's going to drain into the portal vein like over here is coming out here like this guy is a portal vein over here we got a portal vein and this guy ends up over here so this guy is going exactly into the draining into the portal vein but inferior veins first drain into your what you what you call the superior mesenteric veins all right superior mesenteric vein and your superior mesenteric vein kind of go upward and again drain to your portal vein portal vein very simple like if somebody is venous drainage is similar so we have got superior pancreatic uh, pancreatic duodenal vein and we have got inferior veins now let's talk about the nerve supply look there is an again a there have to be a detailed video on the nerve supply we'll talk about the nerve supply in detail but over here you have to remember the nerve supply of uh, this guy the nerve supply of duodenum is very simple very very simple the nerve supply of duodenum all right so the actually nerves are actually derived from your sympathetic 
and the parasympathetic which means your vagus nerves uh, and they are actually coming from your celiac and superior mesenteric plexus remember we have got two plexus in this area we've got celiac plexus we've got superior mesenteric plexus and those guys give up their branches or give up their parasympathetic and their sympathetic nerves and kind of these kind of these both guys kind of supply your duodenum all right so this is all about your what you call the duodenum there's a clinical uh, as well in this uh, scenario so i think i have to talk about the clinical as well that is the duodenal ulcer okay that's uh, important regarding your exam all right let me talk about the duodenal ulcer first